I am now launching uh, round two of my trials and I'm not going to go over all the details again. I'm just going to show you the things I am doing differently in this trial. So first of all, I'm just doing wheatgrass. Uh, I'm not doing sunflower in this one. The sunflower yield was pretty good, uh, even though the crop cycle was a little long. If I can resolve the crop cycles with uh, shorten the crop cycle with wheatgrass, my assumption is I'll be able to apply the same principles to sunflower. So a couple changes I've made. So one, we're doing a side by side comparison. So this is wheatgrass sown in a paper pot tray like I would usually do it. And you can get a sense of my seeding right there. And then here I've split the fiber mat into four different sections. Now one of these will be a control and each of the other ones will get um, a, a unique uh, liquid fertilizer. And I'll work out uh, what I'm going to use for those over the next few days. Uh, also this tray is upside down. So I'm actually growing the, putting the mats on the top of the bottom of the tray. And one reason is, so that's going to give me a really good sense of comparative growth. It's also going to make harvesting a lot easier uh, because you don't have this lip to deal with, which is a, a long time pet peeve of mine. Um, and also it, what, what I'm hoping will happen is the roots will still grow through the holes and then they'll reach into the water below, but there'll be a good amount of air space in there. So that will really reduce the likelihood of any disease. So we'll see how that works. Uh, both of these have the heat mats on uh, below them. And I, I'm hoping I'm not going to experience the same problems because in this case, the roots are not in contact with the bottom tray, so they're not going to get damaged. And here, I already know the system works because the soil acts as a buffer in that regard. So this is round two of our Terra Fiber hemp mats uh, uh, growing trials. And the goal here is twofold, is to adjust the methods to one, shorten the crop cycle, which I'm hoping happens with both the heat mat and with uh, potentially this new watering method, watering in this regard. Uh, and the second thing being to increase the yield. The yield was uh, relatively low on the first trial for the wheatgrass. And I, I won't be able to do a, a really careful yield analysis because these aren't really comparative systems and they're not precise enough, but I, I will cut and weigh each of these. Uh, to get a sense and I will uh, also just be able to, you know, just the size of, of the growth will be an indicator. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll do a fiber mat on its own, probably with the nutrient um, uh, application that works the best. So there'll be some playing around to determine what happens next. But pretty happy uh, to get this going. Uh, now that I've shown you that, these will get covered up and weight put on top. And then we'll check back in, in uh, three or four days.